Hey, it's Sam from Waves. I'm gonna show you the CLA Mix Hub and how to get started. First, I'll give a little background on what it is, then I'll show how to set up its multi-channel view called Buckets, and then I'll show a few sound and workflow examples to give a taste of what this thing can do. So, what is CLA Mix Hub? At its core, it's a channel strip, modeled directly from Grammy-winning mixer Chris Lord Algae's analog console using the latest up-to-date modeling technology. Here it is in single channel view. This is the channel strip in its five modules. Input, EQ, Dynamics, Output, and an insert point. With gain staging at the input and harmonic distortion in the plugin's output section, you can really drive distortion in the mix hub, just like on the console. You can easily reorder the processing, like this. And with the insert point, you can insert another Waves plugin for adding any kind of effects, another style of harmonic distortion, or simply another gain stage to bring internal levels up or down. Here's what it can sound like. One more thing that sets this plugin apart, aside from the sound, is that it lets you control all the mix hub channel strips across your mix from a single place in these groups called buckets. I'll show you how to set this up, and then I'll demo a few quick sound examples. First, insert the CLA Mix Hub on your tracks just like you would any other plugin, no fancy routing involved. Here's a stereo track, and here's a mono track. Now, we're looking at the plugin in Channel View. This is where you can mix just one channel at a time. Let's go to Bucket View. You'll see eight empty slots. We'll populate these with tracks from our mix, organizing our mix into groups of eight. So before adding tracks, let's think about how to organize our mix and give names to our buckets. Hit Enter after each. Next, click Assign. Here's a list of all the tracks in our session with the CLA Mix Hub. Simply click to add them to the current bucket. I've added a few. Let's breeze quickly through the rest. If you want to unassign a track, click it again. If you want to reorder the tracks, simply drag. And if you want to lock them in place, here's the lock. So with all your channels side by side, it's super easy to mix them as groups. When you twist this knob here, it's actually affecting the plugin that's on that channel. So you can mix all your tracks with CLA's console model from one place. Okay, so that's how simple it is to build buckets and assign tracks in the mix hub. Now I'll show you a few of my favorite features and some sound examples. Let's hear the whole mix with and without the mix hub on every track. Okay, so let's take a look at a few specific mix elements. Here, I'll show the plugin's ducker in the gate section, working within the bucket view. The ducker is perfect for getting that pumping sidechain sound. In this section of the song, I want to create some more motion in these synth pads. This mode only works when you have an external sidechain set up. So I've set up a sidechain from the kick to these three layers of pads. Let's engage the external sidechain and go to the ducker mode. I'll go extreme at the range, just so we can dial our settings. Okay, so let's copy these settings to the other two tracks. And let's take it back a few steps. Alright, let's move on to some analog style distortion. I'll explain what's going on in the CLA Mix Hub so you know exactly how to get the most out of it. An essential part of this plugin is its console distortion, modeled exactly from the original. You can use the line and mic controls to overload your channels inside the plugin for subtle texture and excitement all the way to full on fuzzy drive. Notice you can switch to input or output metering so you can see the levels on the way into and out of the plugin. The overload lights are calibrated so they turn on when you're closing in to the end of your headroom 
and when it goes red, you still have a few dB before you reach a digital clip ceiling. This is just like on the actual hardware. The red light tells you exactly where the sweet spot is. Okay, let's dive into the signal flow inside this plugin and why it matters. Here's how the path goes, from left to right. There's distortion that happens in the input section when you drive the signal up with the line or mic control. It flows through the modules from left to right, and the most juicy harmonic distortion is here at the output stage. The line control gives you 20 dB that you can push, and the mic control gives you an additional 50 decibels that you can push your signal through the modules and into the distortion engine. The analog button here turns off the distortion in the plugin for a clean digital sound. Now here I've soloed a bass track. I'll show some of the fuzzed up distortion you can get from this thing. Now one good way to work is to get your signal a little hot and then push some frequencies even harder into the distortion. What we're doing is tailoring the harmonic excitement to our signal. This is a big part of the flexibility and the legendary sound that this console is known for. Let's hear another quick distortion example. Here's our bottom snare. Let's see what happens when we crunch it up with the plugin. And let's add the bluey. Here's where we started. Now let's hear what that did to the overall sound of the drums. And the whole mix. All right, let me show you one more workflow feature in this plugin. One thing that's super helpful while mixing in channel view is the EQ solo. When it's on, any EQ parameter will be soloed only while you're tweaking it. even the cue control. Now that's just the tip of the iceberg with the CLA Mix Hub. Definitely check this one out. You guys are gonna really love mixing with this plugin's up-to-date analog characteristics, its musicality, and discovering how the side-by-side -side mix layout can help get a clear picture of your mixes. If you have a question, leave a comment, hit us up. Don't forget to hit subscribe for the latest info, tips, tricks, and more, and thanks for watching.